Yo, what up peeps? It's your boy Fallen right here, back with some more this light. So, uh, in today's video, it's actually the first time you guys are going to be hearing my voice, so please bear with me. Uh. Uh, but anyways, for today's video, I'm actually going to be showcasing my steward and the relic set that I have equipped on him, his build. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about steward as well, so uh, let, let's not waste any time. Let's get on with it. So, steward is basically a 4-star Inferno Esper. So the fact that he's an Inferno Esper means that he's going to be exceptionally useful uh, in stuff like Kronos and Epep. So let's take a look at Stuart's skill set. His S1, it's down. It's called Down Your Cups. It says, attacks an enemy once dealing damage equal to 130% of attack with a 50% chance of inflicting sleep for one turn. That 50% trigger chance is, of course, provided the fact that you max his S1. So let's get to his S2, it's called Soundly Dreams. It says attacks an enemy once, dealing damage equal to 170% of attack. If the target HP falls below 70% after the attack, he actually inflicts sleep on the target for two turns. So as you can see, he's a very he's a character that uh, very heavily relies on the ability to uh, inflict sleep on the on the target. Uh, sleep is not the most uh, ideal uh, debuff in this light but it is a debuff so yeah let's get on with his to his s3 it's called time vortex it says deals damage to a target equal to 350 percent of attack at the cost of 25 percent of his current hp when landing a critical hit deals bonus damage equal to 10 percent of the target's max hp so this damage is going to be this additional damage is going to be based off the target's max HP, which is going to be ideal especially for bosses like Kronos and Epep. So the amount of extra damage though, will not be able to exceed 200% of Steward's attack. This attack then inflicts sleep on both Steward and the target for one turn. If Steward is interrupted from his sleep, he will counter attack using Soundly Dreams. And if you guys uh, missed it out just now, Soundly Dreams is actually Steward's S2. So when he goes into his S3 and goes to sleep from it, the counter-attack that he's going to be performing is basically his S2. So, yeah. And uh, he has a captain ability of increasing ally attack by 24%, which is even more going to help with putting out more damage. So, let's take a look at the relics that I have on him. I'm actually using the War Machine and Crit Rate set. Uh, my relics... By the way, guys, my relics are not exactly fine-tuned as you can see some of my relics are actually really bad oh god 12 percent and that's all i have on him uh but generally with a damage dealer like steward you would want to have decent crit rate and crit damage for steward especially you would want to have a good amount and a generous amount of uh crit rate mainly because of his s3 if you guys forgot in order to do the additional 10 percent to the target's max hp he actually needs the attack to land as a crit so this is the reason why it's very important to make sure if you guys have a steward he needs to have decent uh, crit rate so that's why i have 87 crit rate on him here it's pretty much almost 100 so yeah it's on his relic here i have a little bit of crit rate and crit damage crit damage crit damage this could be better though uh attack percentage and yeah the, oh god this is a bad relic <laughs> my bad guys uh, my steward is not exactly fine tuned and I have a uh, crit damage and crit rate here crit rate here oh, this is bad attack percentage and crit rate okay yeah so uh, my steward is not exactly fine tuned but as you guys saw from my previous two videos he's already doing big amounts of damage so imagine what imagine the amount of imagine the potential that he has if you were to actually fine-tune and uh, fine-tune his relics and perfect him uh, another thing about steward is you guys uh, might actually want to have a decent amount of accuracy unlike me i have only 28 you might want to have a decent amount of accuracy on steward uh, just to make sure that you know he lands his uh, sleep debuffs and uh, uh, of course I, I would want more speed on steward as well <laughs> oh god my speed is horrible Okay, uh, oh, another tip for Stuart, for, for those of you guys that uh, actually managed to pull Stuart, is that 
you you guys if you remember me talking about his S3 he actually inflict sleep on both himself and the target so for those of you guys for some reason who don't actually want Stuart to go to sleep from his S3 you guys can try this one trick I've actually tested it on myself and it uh, managed to work so what you guys can do is that you guys can actually bring a unit that gives you immunity like maybe something like a Gabriel or something uh, ideally of course you want your Gabriel to be faster than Stuart if not the fastest probably the fastest so what Gabriel's going to do is that Gabriel actually has a, a team wide immunity on her S3 so Gabriel's going to give the team immunity at the start of the turn and when Stuart actually gets to his S3 to put himself and the the target to sleep the immunity is actually going to protect Stuart from going to sleep while the target has still has a good chance of going to sleep so that's for those of you who don't actually want Stuart to go to sleep yeah uh, I think that's about it for Stuart I uh, haven't really resonated him his ascension oh his ascension he has attack some attack here HP uh, this is of course for his S3 his S3 to counter attack with soundly dreams and he has some more attack and speed so crit rate to yeah decent decent ascension for Stuart uh yeah so we've come to the end of the video guys uh if you like the video please like comment subscribe and share with your family friends whoever and as always the grind is always on fallen eye out